Factsverse presents Goodbye, Pawn Stars! Chumley Pleads Guilty Pawn Stars is a Las Vegas-based reality show that revolves around what happens at world-famous gold and silver pawn shop. The show's premise and the characters made it an instant success. People loved tuning in to see the antics of Rick, Old Man, Big Hoss, and Chumley. The cast was just as entertaining as the things that people tried to pawn in the shop. You might not recognize the name Austin Lee Russell, but if you're a fan of Pawn Stars, you will recognize the other name he goes by, Chumley. He was the guy who you could always count on to make you laugh. Chumley grew up in Nevada, and he hated homework. In fact, he hated it so much that in high school he paid other students to do the homework for him. Well, it wasn't long before he got tired of doing that, so he dropped out of school instead. It wasn't just his grades and dislike of homework that made Chumley hate school, though. It was also his nickname. Chumley might sound like a fun name, but the reason he got it is not very flattering. The name came from a cartoon called Tennessee Tuxedo and His Tales, and there was a fat walrus on the show named Chumley, which is where the name came from. Yep, kids can be really mean. Corey Harrison, aka Big Hoss, he's been friends with Chumley since childhood. Growing up, the two hung out at Gold and Silver Pawn Shop, which is owned and operated by Corey's dad, Rick Harrison. Because the two spent so much time there, Chumley was hired to work at the store when he was 21 years old. For the first five years that Chumley worked at the pawn shop, it was pretty boring, and he was forced to do menial tasks all day, which of course is not very glamorous. After five years, though, the cameras showed up, making the job a lot more glamorous and fun. I mean, really, who doesn't want to be on TV? Well, with each season, the show became more and more popular, and that meant that Chumley became more and more well-known. He was always there to provide some comic relief and offer a few laughs. Some even said that it was him that really made the show. Well, Chumley's interests were evident when you watched. He was very interested in rap, sneakers, pinball machines, and video games. Each of those things might be interesting, but they don't really make for wise investments. Chumley has made his fair share of mistakes on the show, and most people find them funny. Unfortunately, he was making mistakes even before the cameras started rolling. While helping set up the shop, he leaned a bass guitar against a shelf and it fell. The guitar broke into pieces and it cost the shop $20,000. That is a pretty expensive mistake. Oddly enough, his mishaps made him and the show even more famous. When Shumley became famous, he had to bring a bodyguard with him wherever he went out in public. He also came up with his own personalized brand of merchandise with his personal assistant. His products were so popular, the rest of the cast of the show they started following suit. Despite their best efforts, though, nobody sold as much of their own merchandise as Chumley did his. He even launched his own candy shop on the Vegas Strip. When Chumley's father died from pancreatic cancer, he decided to make a few lifestyle changes. Chumley started a diet and an exercise plan, and he was successful. His transformation was draw-dropping. He lost a total of 75 pounds. He started dating a chef from the stack restaurant and bar at the Mirage named Tanya Hijazi. Chumley asked her to marry him, and she said yes. The couple celebrated with the whole Pawn Stars gang. In 2016, things started going downhill for Chumley. It began when somebody filed a sexual assault charge against him, but the charges were dropped due to a lack of evidence. After that was behind him, the trouble just seemed to keep coming. During the first investigation, Chumley's home was raided, and during that search, the police didn't find anything to help with the case, but they did make a few other discoveries. They found marijuana a gun, and crystal meth. These things put Chumley on the police's radar. During another search of his home, the police found 11 firearms. Only four were registered. They found cocaine as well, and Chumley was arrested. Chumley had 20 felony charges against him. Goodbye, Pawn Stars. He pled guilty to many counts of unlawful weapons possession, drug possession, and attempted misdemeanor. He didn't get any prison time, but he was placed on probation for a year. If he can behave, the felonies might be expunged from his record. He also has to go to counseling. Here's hoping he gets his life back on track. Subscribe for more.